Hey everybody, welcome back to another Making Stuff video. Uh, I was working on a project for a friend who had approached me about doing a painting for him because I do paint. I may have shared that a long, long time ago in a video. And so I figured, it, since I, I'm not done with it, but I'm mostly getting there and getting towards the final stages, I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, he does... If you notice, sometimes when I do these videos, my eyes wander because that light is really blinding on the LED. It's not a nervous thing. It's just the, the light from the phone is really hard to stare at. But anyway, um, he does, he's really into video stuff, and he moved back here. And there's this, he's doing like a, right now it may turn into a doc documentary, but he's doing like a lot of research on this old legend of a logger that haunts a certain part of the woods around here supposedly been doing it for a hundred years he's and he's kind of trying to keep it on the the dl until he gets more info about it so i'm not going to go into the detail too much in case <laughs> any of the yokels happen across this video but he asked me if i would be willing to do a painting i said we'll see what i can come up with we'll see how it works out and uh he he is a good friend and he asked me how much it would be and all that stuff and I pretty much told him, you know, just get me a couple of beers or something, buy me dinner, and we'll call it good. Just as long as I retain the rights to the the painting itself, I, you know, I will grant him the rights to use it. And I'll, if he does a documentary, he's talking about maybe using it for a cover photo or for promotional posters if he does, um, like, a speaking event around town, like a historical society or something along those lines. Because he actually... This legend of this guy, Logger, was supposed to haunt the woods and, you know, steal children. And, <laughs> which sounds weird, but it has to do with a place where kids stay. And it was basically made up to keep the kids from going out at night. Which we all kind of know being older. Um, when I was a kid, if I remember the story right, it was about a logger I kicked in his head by his horse. And then he had to, whatever, and he haunted the woods. But my friend was just looking into it at some local lore. And he actually found out, the guy is actually... Named after a real man that died at, I believe, 1964, 1965. So obviously, <laughs> he hasn't been haunting the woods for a hundred plus years in that area. Uh, the issue that came with it, really, though, was we had I had no source material really to make um, this painting of this haunting logger, and so I had, which was kind of difficult because a lot of times when I do paintings, I, I do a lot of people I do landscapes once in a very, very great while, but mostly I've been interested in people. So doing someone I have no source material for makes it a little difficult, <laughs> but I also can, I stayed at this place when I was a child and had the story told to me, so I had to think about when I was a kid, what was the vision in my head of this haunted logger, and so, <laughs> anyways, um, this is uh, where I'm at right now with it, and Well, all this paper on here looks a little weird, but basically the idea is this, a lot of this paper will be coming off tomorrow when it's dry, which you can kind of see if it shows up on video, how when you start to take it off um, in certain pieces where I already did it here, it's going to give it kind of that old kind of look. I'm kind of weathering it on purpose. And, I, and the reason I'm leaving a lot of space or negative space or whatever, since I know he's going to be putting this on probably a poster or some pamphlets and stuff because he's at least probably going to do a talk about it this leaves some room for lettering so and i didn't want to put a lot of color in it because if he does have to print them or whatever it's going to be more expensive so if you recognize that guy it's actually me holding a lantern if you guys do anything like this um you almost you're better off taking a picture of yourself in that pose or getting someone to pose like that as close as you can get to the kind of clothes you're getting, but mostly so you can see where, you know, where the light's going to affect and whatnot. But then, so, I mean, it looks like me, but it almost looks like smoking Grandpa Bones, too. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's actually me. So, the cool thing is, there's only one other rendition of this haunted logger, which happens to be at the place on a mural, and it's about that big. And so... It was a hard project because I had to kind of tap into my imagination from being a child. And the other neat part about it is this will be one of the 
only other ones I know of that actually somebody tried to make a rendition of this man or this haunted logger. So that's one of the reasons I like to make things, I guess, which sounds weird, is because the things I do will outlive me. I mean, you know, that's always, if this ends up going on DVD and interests people, my face will be boom, or the guy. I don't want to slip, like I said, in case you locals are watching this, but we'll be that ghost forever. Um, and I know there's probably other, my paintings at some point will end up like at a St. Vincent's or something for a quarter, but, um, yeah, I guess you've seen, yeah, I've always had a <laughs> problem, I shouldn't say a problem, I've always rolled my, my brushes on my, right on my hand here to get a point, and so I end up with a lot, bunch of paint on my hand, which is acrylic, which is fine. Um, on the rare occasion I do work with oils, which is not very often, um, I don't do that. <laughs> Nor do I do that when I'm staining pipes, but to, I, I bring them across there to get a point on them, or sometimes to get to check to make sure I don't have too much paint on. So, but there you go, uh, me as a haunted logger or a ghostly logger. Yeah, they said. I look at it though. I mean, you can almost you almost get a gra smoking grandpa bones out. <laughs> Anyways, guys, have a great weekend. Uh, go out and make some stuff.